you doing? How you feeling? I'm Linda Lynn and today I am back with a new first impressions honest review for the Swab Professionals with Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil products. I picked up three products from my local Target. I know I could have went to Dollar General or Family Dollar but I went to Target and I decided to pick up their Moisturizing Curl Conditioner because the shampoo didn't caught my eye. I also picked up their Curl Defining Cream which is going to enhance your natural curl pattern with softness and shine. And last but not least, here is their Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner which is a deep treatment for nourished curls. All products have been co-created with Natural Hair Approved for Natural Hair Women, okay? So y'all already know, I showed these products to a lot of my followers on Instagram and y'all told me y'all want to know my honest thoughts. First impressions, when I picked them up, I was kind of like taken back by the ingredients. I thought that the ingredients would have been a little bit more better, but I mean, a hey, it is what it is. So if you are ingredient conscious, I'm not pretty sure if you would want to try these products right off the bat. They are just paraben free. They also have no dyes. They are color safe and they are moist moisture rich. So they do have the mineral oils, the petroleums, and a lot of the dimethicones. So I do believe as far as what I can say so far, I think my wash and go will be on a scale of 1 to 5, a 2.5. So we're going to see how well the products perform. My hair is already shampooed. I use the VO5 uh, Kiwi Squeeze Clarifying Shampoo to remove the product that I had on my hair before because it was a shea butter. So let me see how well the curl conditioner, the moisturizing curl conditioner is going to perform. Let's get to it okay so i am going to redampen my hair and let me tell y'all this it says suave's suave is proud to bring to you these luxurious formulations so your curls and coils and waves can look their best every day okay luxurious formulations okay Okay, so I'm I'm having some trouble with the pump already. So let me see. Um, the products have a uh, smell that puts me in the mind frame of the almond, the almond and shea butter line. Very very faint smell. Um, the conditioner is very creamy. I will not be focusing the conditioner close to the roots because this conditioner is not silicone free and I'm not trying to get unnecessary buildup. Great slip, great slip. Alright, it is time to start styling the hair. I'm just going to tell y'all the conditioner so far, I don't care for it. I don't care for it. People was hyping the uh, conditioner up, but I don't like it. 
Uh, okay, so the leave-in conditioner is ideal for curly to coily hair. It says to also generously apply to clean wet hair and massage in from roots to ends. Do not rinse. Okay, consistency, real runny, so we already know you live in a humid climate, you might have a poof ball on your head, baby, if you step on outside with just a leave-in on. So, we're going to add a generous amount. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a generous amount. Now, we're going to go in with the Curl Defining Cream, and the directions are ideal for wavy to curly hair. What about coily? After sectioning, apply to damp or wet hair, starting at the root, working through two ends. Do not rinse can also be used on dry hair to define and moisturize. This is just as runny as the uh, leave-in. Girl, the curl defining cream is just as runny as the leave-in. I believe they wanted to do something towards the Cantu lines because this do remind me of Cantu in a way. Child. Oh, uh-uh. I'm not about to play. So I guess, I guess the Curl Defining Cream is not ideal for wavy to coily hair. So is there a product targeted in the line for coily hair? Because they left out coily hair on the, on, the curl, on the Curl Defining Cream. And it doesn't say, you know, um, style, you know, style hair in a twist, style braid out, you know, wash and go. It doesn't say any of that. So... What I am going to do is I'm just going to use the Curl Defining Cream by itself because on the directions it does not say that you need to use the leave-in or, you know, after using the leave-in, apply the Curl Defining Cream. Since the consistencies are very much the same, I am just going to go into my hair using the Curl Defining Cream. I am just like, dude, I'm so disappointed so far. Um, I'm not sure what my wash and go is going to look like, but I am pretty sure the humidity is going to destroy it and it's going to be a hot mess. I hope my hair don't end up dry. blow dryer to stretch my hair and to dry my hair this is what my hair looks like so let me turn around um, stretching my hair at the root with my blow dryer resulted in my hair looking like this. I did not add any other products to my hair. I did not add any oil to my hair. I didn't even, you know, hit my hair with the cool shot on my blow dryer. I really just wanted to dry my hair without disturbing the curls that were there. But this is what my hair resulted into. Um, 
As far as the wash and go, I would say this is more of an afro type look. It's more of a blowout type look. And I still accept my natural hair for whatever shape and form it goes into but I just was not expecting my hair to turn out looking like this it actually just feels like my hair is just coated with a silicone type heat protectant let me say this if I would have chosen to do a twist out I could have got on camera and had a whole different review my review probably would have been like, oh my god, I love the curling cream. Look at what my curls look like. Look like. Look at how soft and, you know, bouncy and whatever the case may be my hair looks like. But I decided to actually do what the products claim to do. Enhance the curl. Put it on my natural curls. My natural coils. My natural kinks that the products don't even state. When we talk about natural hair, we talk about kinks and coils as well. Nowhere on the bottles to say anything about having kinky hair. So I'm sitting up here kind of like, should I even continue on doing this review? This is probably one of the most upsetting lines for me already in 2019. I'm happy I did not do a twist out because I could have came on here and said some really great things about the line and would have really missed the mark for a lot of people who's going out there spending their coin. I feel like this was just a marketing plow to get a lot of us black women and men up out our coin and a lot in swab they did it they got a lot of us out of our, our, our pockets and i am just disappointed if i had to give a rating to all the products i'm going to give it a two star rating yeah the conditioner has slipped would i go back to the store and purchase it hell no yeah the curl defining cream went on with a lot of moisture when it dried down no shine that was that's what it's supposed to give you some type of shine i don't have no shine my hair looks dull i still have a little white residue on my hair it takes forever for this product to dry on kinky curly naturally kinky well on kinky curly hair and i'm just to the point to well I want to trash these products i don't want them nowhere around me no more and that's just how this review is just gonna be that's just how it's gonna be they missed the mark. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not going to cut. I'm not gonna keep on going in. I'm disappointed. Two stars. Two star rating. Giving it a two star just because the conditioner had slip, and I feel like you know the conditioner could have been one of those products that you could have even kind of used for a leave-in because this had the consistency of a leave-in. But I mean a to each his own. This is my honest review. This this is my honest thoughts. These are my honest thoughts. I'm not trying to bash the brand. I just feel like they could have did so much better. So, so much better. I am shook in the worst way. So, I'm signing on out of here. Let me know your questions, comments, thoughts, all of that in the comment box below. Let's get the conversation popping. If you love the line, let me know. I would love to talk to you. Let me know your thoughts. If you hated the line, if you dislike the products, if you still want to try the line, I want to know. Drop it all in the comment box below. Let's get the conversation popping. I know the comment box is going to be filled with some really great conversation. So let's get it started. I'm up out of this piece now. I hate the way so washed it. Y'all know mom life is pro life. But I'm signing on out of here. Bye.